Why is your iPhone battery draining so fast? Is it time to replace your battery? Or is there another solution? Yes, absolutely there is a solution to your battery issues. Most of the time, it is not a hardware problem, rather it is a software problem. Certain tasks or features of iPhone end up draining your battery, which I'm going to highlight in today's video and hopefully fix your battery drain. By the way, guys, I've released a brand new exclusive iPhone wallpaper pack called Fresh. This fresh wallpaper pack includes 14 different wallpapers within the pack. You guys can purchase this and get instant access. And by doing this, you'll be also supporting my channel and my work. Check it out, links in the description, and let me know what you guys think. Appreciate the support, back to the video. So you'll want to start by checking your battery health in settings. Odds are your iPhone battery is fighting fit, but is being drained by unneeded processing running in the background. So this is a good first step, whether you're worried that the iPhone update is draining the battery or not, your iPhone will recommend specific changes in settings to preserve iPhone battery life. To see why your iPhone battery is draining faster than it should be, use these steps to check battery health suggestions. Open up your settings and then scroll down tap on battery and then go to battery health and charging from here you can find various different settings that will help you optimize your battery to last longer for example you have to be turned on for example optimized battery charging should be turned on and peak performance capability you guys can read through this but the most important setting here is the optimized battery charging this will reduce the battery aging iPhone will learn from your daily charging routine so that it can wait to finish charging past 80% until you need to use it. Number two, turn off Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and AirDrop when not using. Chances are you leave your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and AirDrop turned on even when you're not using it. These are some of the worst and sneaky battery drainers. To access this easily at your fingertips, you can do so by swiping from top right corner of your iPhone, which will open up control center and then turn off everything you're not using at the moment such as bluetooth you can easily turn this off or wi-fi when you're not connected to wi-fi you can easily turn off wi-fi from here at your fingertips and if you just hold on to this hold for a few seconds it will bring up your airdrop you can easily turn off airdrop receiving off from here as well the reason why you need to turn these off when you're not using is is because otherwise your iphone will constantly search in the background for a device to pair with or airdrop with and worst of all when you leave your home and your wi-fi stays on constantly searching in the background to auto join familiar wi-fi's nearby which will contribute to your iphone battery drainage so number three dim your iphone screen brightness keeping your iphone screen at full brightness is likely a culprit when your iphone battery drains fast but it's easily fixed either by manually lowering the brightness or enabling auto brightness within settings this is actually one of the main causes of battery drain and consumes more power than you might think here's how to dim the screen brightness to save battery on your iphone you can open up your control center by swiping down from the top right corner of the screen if your iphone has a home button if you have the older iphones you can just click on you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen instead and then you need to tap and drag brightness slider over here toward the bottom or as the near to the bottom as you can go still comf comfortably read your display if you want to do it the hard way you can just enter your settings and then go to display and brightness and then from here you can also turn off your brightness within these settings as well. But moving on, number four, enable auto brightness. If you're like me, and you forget to dim the brightness manually, then you can easily enable auto brightness. Auto brightness settings adjust your screen lighting automatically based on ambient light levels. This keeps your iPhone from losing battery too quickly by wasting it on unnecessary screen brightness. To save battery on your iPhone by enabling auto brightness, you can open up your settings app right here as you guys can see, go ahead, open it. And then you need to go to accessibility, scroll down until you find accessibility, which is right here, and then go to display and text size. And then from here, scroll scroll all the way down until you find auto brightness and then as you guys can see it says turning off auto brightness may affect the battery life and long-term display performance so leave this on enable auto brightness and save yourself battery drainage because when you just go outside in a sunny weather it's gonna get brighter and when you come home sometimes you forget to manually reduce the brightness and you just keep using your phone in full brightness which ends up losing and draining your battery's performance but moving on guys number five turn off raise to wake all iphone models have 
the raise to wake function enabled by default, this might be part of your problem, especially if you pick up your iPhone a lot or walk with it swinging in your hand. The iPhone screen constantly turning on will definitely drain your battery. To turn off raise to wake to save iPhone battery life, you need to go ahead, open up your settings, tap on display and brightness, and then scroll down until you see raise to wake. Simply turn this off. And while you're over here, the next thing that you need to turn off, number six, turn off always on display. If you have an iPhone 14 or iPhone 15, your device has always on display that keeps your lock screen like this, as you guys can see at lower brightness, but nonetheless, it is still having the brightness. Although Apple claims that this does not reduce your battery, it does have some effect, especially if your battery already has issues with drainage. So in order to turn off always on display, again, go, go to your settings, go to display and brightness, and then simply over here, right below, raise to wake, you can find always on display. If you just simply turn this off, you will no longer have that lock screen. Your device will be completely turned off. It will not have the always on display. It's a personal preference, but but does have effect on your battery. But moving on guys, number seven, update apps. Apps that need updates kill iPhone battery health. iOS update battery drain often has to do with apps. When new software is released, such as iOS 17.4 update, developers have to play catch up too. Apps that need to update may run inefficiently or accidentally run operations in a way that's counterproductive to the way it should be done on the most current iOS software. If you don't automatically update apps on iPhone, taking the time every now and then to update manually all the available apps on your list could seriously help with iPhone battery drain. So here's how to update apps to avoid battery drainage on your iPhone. Open up your app store and then go to your account icon all the way up top and then scroll all the way down where you see over here upcoming automatic updates. You can manually review these updates and update them each accordingly every now and then, maybe once a week, check these over here and manually update them unless you have automatically update turned on. Number eight, remove widgets. Do widgets drain the battery on iPhones or iPads? Yes, but not all of them causes as much iPhone battery drain as others. If your iPhone battery is dying too quickly, consider getting rid of any widgets you don't need. If your battery is dying fast on your iPhone, try removing unnecessary widgets. You can either do it by holding onto your home screen, just like like this and then removing once it starts jiggling you can easily remove it like so or you can also just swipe right and then click on edit from here you can also manage all of your widgets over here as well you can easily remove this or you can add it according to your liking moving on the next setting number nine turn off background app refresh background app refresh allows your apps to check for new content and update even when you're not using them this is intended to save you loading time when opening up apps as the latest information should be ready and waiting after being refreshed in the background however though allowing all your open apps to continually update and refresh in the background is a surefire way to drain your iPhone battery. Here's how to turn off background app refresh to keep your iPhone from losing charge. Open up your settings and then tap on general. And then right there, as you guys can see, it says background app refresh. Scroll through either all of these apps and then choose which of them deserve to have background app refresh or manually turn off all of them altogether, just like so. That way, your apps will not be running in the background, constantly trying to load up the latest information. But last but not least, number 10, adjust location services and system services. This is a big one because location services and system services are another sneaky feature that could explain why your iPhone is losing charge. Lots of different apps want to know and use your location for various legitimate, useful reasons, but most of them don't need to track your location when you're not using them. You can easily access this within your settings if you open up your settings and then scroll down to privacy and security over here, location services, manually scroll through all of these apps and whichever is set to always consider changing them because most of the time, 99% of the apps over here, they don't need your location always. You can just leave it to while you use the app because whenever you open the app, they will be able to access your location and use it for important reasons. But when you close it, you'll have a peace of mind and save yourself some battery. And also in order to access your system services, you can easily do so by scrolling all the way down over here. As you guys can see, you will have system services. Enter this 
And then you have a bunch of different system services, but the worst of them is product improvement. Make sure you turn off these three iPhone analytics, routing and traffic, improve maps. These are just unnecessary things that are running in the background, trying to help Apple improve their products, but at the same time doing you no benefit at all, to be honest, by draining your battery and running in the background. Another the big one within system settings is significant locations. Make sure you have significant locations turned on. And obviously you will need your face ID to access significant locations. Basically what this does is that it just keeps a log of every single location that you've been to, which is kind of scary to be honest. So I would just completely turn this off. It doesn't have any good use, but it does have a lot of harm in the long run because it just drains your battery in the background. So there you have it, folks. If you want to watch a video on why you should turn off your iPhone for five minutes, at least every week, click right here. Peace out.